Right off to the right you can see the reefs and there's a, a river plume coming out and these are recent pictures from February this year and this is a worst case scenario. It happens for a few days for a, in, a, in a, a decade or so. And in this case it was actually even worse because there was a northwesterly wind and it was actually blowing the, uh, the sediment offshore. It normally actually follows the coast. And you can see that it almost re reached one of those reefs. In fact, when you look very closely, there was another photograph taken. This is actually on the reef itself. You can see a slightly turbid water over the reef. And this hit the, w the headlines all over the world. Now the first thing is that, in fact, you can actually still see the reef underneath that m supposedly muddy water. And the reason you can see that is there is almost no sediment in that water. That water is like tea. It's got organic material, there is no sediment, it's actually all dropped out well before it got to the reef and it's not going to affect that reef at all. And if you took a sediment sample there you would be able to find almost no sediment. 